Good evening. I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. The legal cases against the two suspects in the McKinley High School attack are moving forward. A 17 year old stabbing suspect will have his case go before a grand jury. The other 17 year old who is accused of shooting a security guard was arraigned today. More students in Buffalo schools are getting their diploma. The school district says the four year graduation rate is up to 78 and a half percent. That is more than a 2 percent increase from the previous year, 80% of students graduated in four years in 13 of 20 schools. The CDC could update its recommendation on face masks in the next few days that could lead to looser restrictions in New York State and elsewhere. New York dropped its indoor mask mandate last week, but masks are still required inside schools and daycare. An event that honors our fallen heroes will return this spring. The town of Tonawanda is bringing back its annual Memorial Day Parade. It's been called off for the last two years, because of COVID concerns. This year's parade will be Monday, May 30th. Let's check in with Michelle McLeod for that seven weather forecast. Well, we've got a flood watch, all the viewing area for Pennsylvania Thursday afternoon through Friday afternoon. We're seeing it now through Friday evening. Some of that could turn into some localized flood warnings. And if they do, we will definitely keep you updated. I've got the teeter totter behind the seven day because here is the temperature teeter totter. 50s for your Thursday, 20s for Friday, 20 again on Saturday with some snow. And then look at those temperatures pop on Sunday, a whole 20 degrees between Saturday and Sunday, seeing some sunshine, sunshine and warm temps for your Sunday. Going into your Monday, seeing some more of those 40s and dealing with the 40s as we get into the end of the seven day, popping again in the 50s at the very end of that seven day.